He was the ultimate insider. Rajat Gupta had the phone numbers for former US President Bill Clinton, former United Nations Secretary General Kofi Annan and Microsoft founder Bill Gates. But it's his phone calls to convicted insider trader Raj Rajaratnam which could put Gupta behind bars. The 62-year-old was on Goldman Sachs' board of directors and had access to highly confidential information. The FBI alleges Gupta, quote, became the illegal ears and eyes in the boardroom for his friend and business associate Raj Rajaratnam. It's alleged Gupta passed on information which allowed Raja Ratnam to make millions of dollars by trading the stock market. Michael Wilde is a former US federal attorney and believes the case against Gupta is rock solid. The government would not go after a person with a case like this or persons unless they can connect the dots both for conspiracy and proof of the act in furtherance of that conspiracy which they clearly made out in this indictment. In 1997, Rigel Rutnam started an investment fund called Galleon. Its headquarters used to be in the black building behind me. Gupta invested millions of dollars in Galleon and it's through this fund that he stood to profit from the alleged insider trading. But Gupta says he's done nothing wrong. In a statement, his lawyer says, the government's accusations are totally baseless. The facts in the case demonstrate that Mr Gupta is innocent of any of these charges and that he has always acted with honesty and integrity. He did not trade in any securities, did not tip off Mr Rajaratnam so he could trade and did not share in any profits as part of any quid pro quo. Gupta's indictment is the biggest so far for US federal prosecutor Preet Bharara. He's already secured more than 50 insider trading convictions in the last two years. In Wall Street, there is nothing but a handshake, a license, and then the world's trust as you navigate millions of dollars in people's lives. It's so important that we take these cases seriously, that the government have the resources in place, and that these cases see the light of day so that other people will be deterred from acting in kind. Gupta has been released on $10 million bail and was ordered to surrender his passport. If he's found guilty, the once limitless reach of one of the industry's best networkers could shrink to the size of a prison cell. Kath Turner, Al Jazeera, New York.